Welcome to British Pathé. My name is Indy, and today is part two of cool things that were either invented or popularized during the First World War. You can see part one right here. And here's the next one, radio communication. Imagine a time when a pilot takes off in his plane, but you really, really, really have to tell him that he forgot I don't know, his luggage. In 1914, pilots were unable to communicate with people on the ground. Wireless technology was in its infancy then, but the problems during war were a lot more serious than forgetting your luggage. And in 1916, the very first helmet with a microphone and headphones was ready for action. Until then, it looked like this. They even had special training for it. It was that novel. And our next invention is summertime or daylight savings time. Your call. Yep, setting your clocks an hour ahead was an idea that came up during the war. But why? By 1915, Germany was short on fuel, and to save artificial light during autumn and spring, the government let the time be set forward in April 1916. The daylight savings time, as it was called, was a hit, and only three weeks later, Great Britain changed their time too. But after the war was over, daylight savings time was over too. But as you all know, we still change our clocks today twice a year. Now, can you guess when it was reinstated? No? Then check the description box to find out. Now here's one that really saved a lot of lives. Blood banks. World War I produced millions upon millions of casualties. And with such colossal numbers, treatment suffered. It became necessary to store blood. Now different blood types had just been researched a bit. And in 1914, we found out that substances like sodium citrate prevented blood from curdling and blood banks were now possible. And a hundred years later, they still save thousands of lives every day. Now here is a blood drive from 1946. Accidents of all kinds take their daily toll. Thanks to the wartime development of blood transfusion, more and more lives are being saved. Transfusions are also needed to sustain the strength of patients weakened by disease who have to undergo major operations, and in difficult maternity cases. Sometimes it's the baby whose need is desperate. The lives of many little children are saved by blood transfusion. Give a little of your blood to the transfusion services, so that mothers and children, and perhaps your own friends and neighbors who otherwise might have died, may live because of you. And another benefit of medical care, free cigarettes for all soldiers. Wait, what? Let's stay with medical inventions. Up next are sanitary pads. A U.S. firm called Kimberly Clark invented cellucotton as an alternative to normal bandages, cellucotton being more absorbent. But it wasn't only useful to wounded soldiers. Nurses soon found another use for cellucotton, and sanitary pads were invented. They went on the market in 1920, followed shortly afterwards by Kleenex tissues. And the last invention for today, documentaries. What happened during the war? Who was there when everything happened? Well, during the war, the newsreel began to compete with the newspaper. Filmed at the front for cinemas at home, the newsreel became wildly popular. Our newsreels were called Pathé Animated Gazettes, and you can watch some of them right here on this channel. Now, we've also started a new channel called The Great War that follows World War I week by week, a hundred years later, using original British Pathé footage. You can see that right here, or click here for World War I Inventions Part 1.